All right, class, this is our homework, um, homework help video for Monday. Homework help video for, for Monday, Math 1 Monday. All right, so let's look at this. It says, um, I don't know why it says quarter. It's supposed to be quarter four, y'all. This is week. Please make that correction. It's week four. I don't know why it says that. But anyway, nonetheless, typo. Um, the function, this is the function was replaced with, so the initial function was this, and it was replaced with this where you're adding k. So look, you can obviously see that the starting amount, your y-intercept was 2. So you go up 2 from the origin. 1, 2. This is where it started. This is your starting right here. Okay? So now um, adding or subtracting to this function is going to move it up or down. It's obvious from here that it went down. So you're minusing. So you're going to minus this is 2 here, and it went down 2 more. So it went down a total of 5. So your k here is equal to a negative 4 because from here, the starting amount being at 2, it went down 4. So your k here is negative. Your k here is negative 4, okay? Remember, this is your a. This is your starting amount. B is, your, uh, is the number that's being multiplied to get to the next number. This is your common ratio, which is 2. So since this is your starting amount, this number right here, you start at 2, and the line went from here down to here, crossing the y-axis. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So it went down 4, so your k is negative 4. All right. Please go back and read your notes on translation of um, exponential functions, and that's in your notebook. Number two, write as in a, as a radical expression, okay? So we're gonna want, they want us to write this as a, a fraction, all right? Radical expression, all right? So notice how all the answers are written as a fraction. So let's look. So I'm going to rewrite. We got 64x to the second, y to the third, and we got to the power of a negative one half, okay? So let's distribute. Let's go ahead and just multiply it's a power of power. Let's multiply this exponent times it, all the exponents that are in the parentheses. That'll be easier. Okay. All right. So this is automatically one here. So this is going to be one times a negative one half. So this is going to be 64 and negative one half is the exponent. Then we got two times a negative one half. So out to the side. Let me see. Let me get another little piece of paper. So out to the side, you have 2 times, and this is a negative 1 half. So write this as a fraction, multiply straight across. This gives you, when you multiply, 2 times a negative 1 gives you negative 2. 1 times 2 gives you 2. So this gives you a negative 1. Okay, so when you multiply this times this 2, you get a negative 1. So this is going to be x to the negative 1 power. Okay? Now you're going to multiply this negative 1 half times 3. So let's do uh, 3, 3 over 1 times a negative 1 half. So let's do this. Multiply straight across again. That's negative 3 on the top and 2 on the bottom. So we got negative 3 over 2. So this is y is equal to negative 3 over 2 as the exponent there. All right, so now in order to make these negative exponents positive, you move them down to the bottom. So let's move them down to the bottom. One is going to be on the top. Move this down to the bottom, 64. Now it's positive one-half power. Move this down to the bottom. This is x to the one power now, positive one. Move this down to the bottom. This is going to be y to the positive three over two power. All right, so when you have an exponent as a fraction, 64, uh, 1 half. The top number is the exponent, and the bottom number is the root. So another way to write this is to say 64 to the first power, square root, okay, because it's 2 is square root. So the square root of 64 is 8. So we're going to replace this with 8. Okay, this is okay, and that's okay. We'll just keep it like that. All right, so our answer here is going to be C. All right. 
Number three, which of the following is not true? All right, this is an exponential function. It's two to the x power. Okay, so this is an exponential function. That's true. It says which one's not true. This is true. Uh, the function has a domain of all real numbers. Okay, you can put any number in for x. That is true. You can put any number in for x. All right, so it's all real numbers. For c, as the value of x gets larger, the y gets closer to zero. That means it will be decreasing. This is increasing. Because remember, when you have... 2x, this is the common ratio. This is your b. A, you don't see, so a is automatically 1. This is b. A, you don't see, so a is automatically 1. That means you're multiplying by 2 to get to the next number. It's going to keep getting bigger. This is exponential growth. So it's not decreasing. It's not getting closer to 0. It's going further away from 0. So this is the one. This is false. So let's choose the best answer. So far, I see. As the value of x increases by one value, it doubles. Yeah, every time you're going to multiply by um, 2 every single time. So it's going to continue to double in value. Okay? So this is also true. So your answer here is C. Uh, if a student deposits, this is the deposit, 1500 in the bank and earns an annual interest rate of 8%, how much will you have after 15 years? This is exponential growth. Y is equal to C, parentheses 1, plus R to the X power. So this is going to be Y is equal to 1,500, uh, 1, and 0 0.08 is 8%, and it's going to be 15 years. Okay? So now we type this in the calculator. Let's go to oops, y equals, we got 1,500 times 1.08 raised to the x power, carrot key x power, okay? And we want to, oh, I should have just typed in 15. Gosh, that's okay. I'll type it in table one and I'll just go down to 15. I don't know why I didn't just type 15 in, y'all, and put it in, just put it in the, um, you know, just type it in calculate instead of going to y equals. But anyway, y here is equal to uh, 40, no, 4,700. So it's 4,758.3. So that's 30 cents. Okay. All right. So now number five says, which of the following is true about this one? Well, my A here, it, this is my starting amount, is 0.5. And my B, my common ratio, is 3. My B is greater than 1, so it's exponential growth. This is true. It's not decay because B would have to be less than 1. So this is the one that's, this is false. This is not a linear function. That's false. And the y-intercept, the y-intercept is 0.5. That's my y-intercept. So this is also false. So the only one that's true is A. Number 6. The population of Bernardville in 2014 was estimated to, that's the starting population, to uh, 24,000 people with the annual rate increase in growth about 2.4%. Um, Which function will give you the estimate total? Okay, so this is exponential growth. C parentheses 1 plus R to the X power. So your C is what? 24 a uh, thousand one plus point changes to a decimal you have to move sorry you have to move the decimal two places to to uh to the left and so that gives you this point zero two four or twenty four thousandths okay so point zero two four and the to the x power, how many years is it from 2014 to 2021? So you got 2021 minus 2014, and that's going to be seven years from there. Okay, so x here is seven. So the one that fits that is going to be this one, c. Okay, all right, y'all. Make sure that you study your notes. Study your notes. This is helping you prepare for your ELC at the end of the year. Please make sure that you study your notes. Let me know if you have questions.